Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today in part one of my crazy mod reviews we're going to be taking a look at a pretty crazy self-propelled baler. Now guys today's mods are really unrealistic and I realize that some people aren't going to like it some people will love it. You know have fun with it if it's not your thing just wait until the next review I'm sure there will be something there that you'll like check out some of my other reviews but I also like to have fun and think outside the box too. So we're going to be taking a look at two mods today. Like I said, the pretty crazy uh, New Holland self-propelled baler there and the New Holland 600 bale auto load trailer. This thing can hold, like it says, 600 square or round bales. And it can also hold 112 pallets. So very convenient and very unrealistic. But we're still going to check it out anyway and we're going to have a little bit of fun. So stick around guys and we will test these out. Okay, first up we have this New Holland self-propelled round baler. This is called the Crazy Bales 3 Mega Version 1.0 Mobile Round Baler. Baler is just for fun, guys. Like, it's really unrealistic. I know you probably know that, but just have fun with it. Fall size for this is 38 megabytes. The power is 397 kilowatts and 540 horsepower. Price in the shop is $25,000 with a $1,120 a day maintenance fee. Has a max speed of 53 kilometers an hour and a work speed of 20 kilometers an hour. And it works on all hay, grass, and straw. This thing can fire them out like a machine gun. So let's take a little look around at this before we jump inside. Now, this only makes round bales. If you want a square baler that makes them pretty fast, I actually did one not too long ago. I did a review on it. So just look in my baling technology uh, playlist and you will find it. So there you go. Let's start this on up. Try out a couple of things. One two three light settings very good our beacons work yes got one in the back there as well okay does this thing have signal lights on it yes it does hazards work as well good horn okay so all that works let's take a look on inside the cab just your uh basic new holland interior harvester interior well it looks pretty good not too bad okay let's jump on out of here and move on to our next mod and we will be testing that out momentarily but for now we're gonna move on to this beautiful looking trailer here okay this is the New Holland 600 bale auto load trailer version 1.0 the file size is 16 megabytes price in the shop is 22,500 and with a $10 a day maintenance fee like I said it holds 600 round bales or 600 square bales or 112 pallets so when you go over to the shop it's not going to look like that over in the shop it's going to look quite different it actually looks yellow and a lot smaller but we'll look at that it has a basic hitch on it and it can hook to the back of that baler as well so pretty nice looking and it does the trick so let's go over to the shop i'll show you where these are under baling technology here that's actually the one i reviewed before that's a square baler and it pumps out the fairly quick not as quick as him but it does do it fairly quick so I reviewed that before there's your trailer like I said it looks quite different there but that is it and there is your mobile New Holland round baler so we will go out to the field and set up a couple of things here guys so let's get going okay we'll take this guy for a little whirl here looks pretty cool you can unfold this with the X key lower it down and press B to turn it on. So V to lower and B to turn it on. So let's go with the uh, hay here. So bear with me, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Let's go. Look at it. <laughs> if you need some bales in a hurry, like you can't push them out of the way fast enough. Look at that. If this baler was faster, they'd shoot across. It'd be funny if it was like just one big solid one. <laughs> But it won't take long to fill your trailer. These kind of go hand in hand. And like I said, you can use the auto load trailer on this. It's just I want to show you individually first. Look at the bales everywhere. Now, guys, if you make too many, you're going to have some lag. So just watch it. Especially if you get a lower end computer. She's going to she's gonna affect your frame rate, I'll tell you that. I just want to make sure I got some make about 600 bales so I don't have to uh, stop to do it again <laughs> look at them they're just choking on it they're like popping up in the air and everything 
looks like if the bales weren't in the way, it would just shoot across the map. Okay, let's stop you right there. Okay, guys, we have our auto load trailer out on the field here. Let's start this off. Hook up, bring up our HUD, and make sure we're on square bales. It is not. You'll have to press the Z key. Most people are familiar with the auto load trailers. Always go with your smallest uh, round bale size if you're unsure, because that's usually the size of your bales. Keep going. You got HD bales too, as well, and uh, square bales. Okay, we'll go with 1.3s. Press X to activate. Now, guys, the uh, radius on this is pretty good. You can actually drive straight towards the bales, and they'll automatically, you won't trip over them. See what I mean? Now, check this out. So, I'm just going to get turned around here. And let's go pick up 600 bales. <laughs> Look at that, man. That thing's full now. Yeah, I certainly didn't have to go too far with that. Look at it. That's it. Oh! Put the brakes on there, Sammy. But I'll tell you one thing, guys. You're not going to be able to take uh, unload this without dumping them unless you put it up against something. Look at this. Okay, let me get this guy turned around. Bring up my toolbar here. So you cannot pick sides. You can only unload center. It's not going to drop it right under the trailer. It's going to still put it to the side, but it's going to be very tippy when I do that. So you might want to put this up against something when you do it. But here, I'll show you what I mean. Press the B key. See, it says unload center. I'm, key I'm pressing it now, and it's not switching. So, to press to unload, just press Y, and they're gonna do the tippy thing. Oh. Okay, they should have came off, but they didn't. <laughs> Got a little explosion here. Let's pick them all back up. Look at that. Ba boom. Yeah, that shouldn't have worked like that. It should have went to the side. Look at all the bales that are in, like, falling off. They're, like, stuck in the middle, kind of. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Bring up our HUD. Pick a side. There they go. But it's going to tip low. And it really... The frames take a little dive there. You can see 16 frames up in the corner. Okay, guys, we're going to try it on some grass now. As you can see, I can pick that right up with my baler. And you can see they're going to slide right onto the back there. So, and there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Just like a machine gun. Look. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's a little cleaner. That is hilarious. Quick way to get some bales, I'll tell ya. It just looks cool too. Even just to mess around with would be fun. I can't zoom out anymore. That's it. This definitely has enough power to pull it, that's a good thing. I don't know if any are stuck in the middle. That's what happened. might have happened last time. There would have been one or two in the middle there. But let's try this again. Get on that. Decide and drop them. But then it's going to go. Boop, boop. Oh. Alright, get off. Okay, let's test this on some square bales, guys. Alright, square bales coming up. Okay, it's on square bells with the Z key. We're going to press X to activate, and we're off. Hmm. 
And these ones don't seem to uh, have a problem when you put them down. At least when I tried, they didn't fall over, so that's good. There's quite a big uh, flat area there, so it definitely helps. I imagine you get a pretty good price for all those bales. sure I don't go too far because then I'll end up with driving on all, all these getting caught up underneath. And it seems to be still going. Usually it holds less square bales trailers but this one holds the same amount. Hitting up there now, look at the size of this thing. I love how you don't have to worry about driving into them, unless, like now, now it's full. But look at that mountain. Take a side and unleash. Look at them. They stood together. They're gapped a little bit, but let's see what happens when I press the X key again. Oh, I took the. How come that's not Lena? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, they're going now. Let's see how fast you can clean up this mess. So, there you have it guys. Look at that beast. That was the Crazy Bales 3 Mega Version 1.0 Mobile Round Baler. Fall size for that is 38 megabytes. Then we took a look at the New Holland 600 bale auto load trailer. Version 1.0. Fall size for that is 16 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below. If you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it always really helps out. So until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.